Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to compare the Honor 9X with the Redmi K20. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys a, a very quick comparison between both these devices and how they differ and which you might actually find more suitable for you. So first up, uh, let me, I'm just going to say that I'm going to make this video very quick so that uh, we can get straight to the point without wasting any time. So without further ado, first up, let's talk about the price. The Honor 9X uh, is uh, slightly cheaper than the K20, but I got it here in China for 270 US dollars, whereas the K20 is 285 US dollars. So as you can tell, it, it is just 15 US dollars difference and it is a very small difference. The variant that I have here for both these devices is 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory. So price wise, the K20 is just $15 more expensive than the Honor 9X. Next up, I'm going to talk about the design. The design on the K20 and Honor 9X are slightly different. So on the Honor 9X, we have a, a very nice back here that actually has this uh, X kind of symbol at the back when you tilt it from side to side. You notice that uh, it is rather interesting because <laughs> it is very suitable with the 9X name. Um, but one thing that I, I, I need to note here is that uh, the fingerprint scanner is on the side. So unlike the K20, which has an in-display fingerprint scanner, the Honor 9X fingerprint scanner is on the side and to be honest, I find it a bit um, something that I cannot really get used to. Um, I am always prefer to have the fingerprint scanner either on the front or on the back because that is where you hold your hand and you can hit the button very easily. But on the Honor 9X, sometimes I find that I have to move my finger up out of the way or purposely situate it to the fingerprint scanner to get that scan. So even after using it for a few days, I still find that at certain times I'm not able to like to just press the button very comfortably and I do press it by mistake sometimes as well. So that is one thing to note. This might just be me, but I just want to let you guys know that there might be this kind of issue for you. So on to the front, uh, both these devices have uh, this fully notchless display and obviously you can see right away that the Honor 9X has a bigger screen compared to the K20. So while we are talking on the topic of the screen, let's talk about the display differences here. The 9X comes with a 6.59 inch LCD display whereas the K20 comes with a 6.39 inch AMOLED display. One thing that I do need to point out here is that the display on the Honor 9X is, uh, although it is an LCD display, I must say that the LCD display is not the best one out there. Uh, what I mean by this is that colors look seriously a little bit pale. Um, if you tilt it from side to side, you'll notice that the viewing angles is really poor um, even for an LCD display. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it here on the camera, but I'll try my best to show you guys. The viewing angles, I'm just really disappointed with the viewing angles here. I know that AMOLED displays uh, definitely beats the LCD display in terms of colors, saturation, uh, the contrast levels as well as viewing angles, but the viewing angles and contrast levels on the Honor 9X LCD display is just so poor that uh, this is something that I cannot recommend to anyone. The reason why this is also so important is because the display is the, the section of the phone that you actually look at the most during using it. And if you don't get a good display, everything else just will look pretty bland. Anyways, that, that's it for the display. Moving on, I want to talk about the performance. So we all know that the Honor 9X comes with the latest mid-range processor from Huawei, which is the Kirin 810, whereas on the K20, it's using the Snapdragon 730. So in terms of just benchmark scores alone, the Kirin 810 actually scored slightly higher than the 730. But in terms of real world use, I would say that both these devices feel very similar to one another. Um, if you're just talking about browsing through daily apps like your phone, uh, messaging, browsing the internet, taking photos for example, both these devices are very snappy and launch applications fairly quick. If you talk about gaming, so gaming on both these devices also provide me with a very similar experience. I wouldn't really say one is better than the other. I would say that gaming on both these devices are actually very similar and you are not losing out on anything should you choose one over the other. So performance wise, I'm going to give, I'm going to say that this is a tie for both the 9X as well as the K20. Moving on, let's compare the cameras. So it is, once again, when we look at the cameras on both these devices, you can notice very quickly that the Honor 9X is missing one sensor. So what you get on the Honor 9X is a 48 megapixel main sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the K20, you get a 48 megapixel main sensor, 
13 megapixel wide angle sensor and an 8 megapixel depth sensor. So just in terms of numbers alone, the K20 is already better than the Honor 9X. But once again, in terms of real world use, I would say that both these devices actually perform very well during the day. They both take great shots during uh, when you have great sunlight, great daylight and all that. But in terms of night images, I would say that the night mode on the K20 is better than that on the 9X. Uh, pictures just turn out more uh, clearer, nicer on the K20 compared to the 9X. So, one thing that the, the Honor 9X is missing, like I mentioned earlier, is the wide angle sensor. And to me, again, that is a real loss here. The K20, uh, with the wide angle sensor, you can take a lot of interesting shots. Uh, sometimes you do not need to stand so near to your subject. And there's just so many things that you could, so many cool kinds of pictures you can take with a wide angle sensor. So the lack of it for me is a huge, uh, is a huge loss, like I said, on the Honor 9X. But this really depends on you whether you need it or not. Moving on to the front, we do have a uh, different selfie cameras here. So both these devices uses the pop-up mechanism, but you'll notice that the pop-up system on the K20 is slightly quicker than on the Honor 9X. In terms of megapixel wise, the K20 does comes with a 20 megapixel selfie camera, whereas the 9X comes with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. I would say that uh, the selfie camera on the Honor 9X looks slightly better because it produces images that are slightly colder compared to the warmer images on the K20. But again, the selfie cameras are very similar in terms of image quality. So this is really down to your personal preference. Next, let's talk about the batteries here. So both the Honor 9X and K20 surprisingly come with the same amount of battery, which is 4000 milliamp hours. But the K20 does comes with 18 watts quick charge and the 9X, uh, I'm not too sure what kind of levels of quick charge do you get here, but it does have some form of quick charge as well. So I have not done the uh, charging speed test yet, but I can say that both these devices are able to give you a battery enough to last one full day on a single charge. So battery wise, you shouldn't have any issues with both these devices. Last but not least, uh, I want to talk a bit about the speakers that we have at the bottom here. So apart from the headphone jacks that we have on both these devices, um, the speakers here are both single firing uh, speakers and they sound pretty good on both these devices. I would say that the uh, speaker on the 9X gives you a bit more of an echo uh, when it plays very loudly, whereas the K20 produces an audio quality that is um, just a bit more solid. Alright guys, uh, so that's it for the comparison between both these devices. Um, to, to quickly sum up uh, my conclusion after using both these devices, I would say that um, I'm a bit disappointed with the Honor 9X. I mean, it is a great device. The screen, the large screen is, is definitely something I would actually prefer, the large screen, but only if it was AMOLED because the LCD display on the Honor 9X is just really, um, it's really pretty, pretty bad, I would say. Another thing I would say is that the lack of a wide angle sensor on the 9X is also a huge letdown because these days uh, I take a lot of photographs here and there. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I do take a lot of photos um, throughout my entire uh, daily life. So it is something that I use on a daily basis. So the bad LCD screen plus the lack of the wide angle sensor to me is a huge letdown enough for me to actually forget about the Honor 9X. If you ask me, I would definitely go with the K20 because it is a better all-rounder. It is just 15 US dollars more than the 9X and you get so much more from the K20 than on the 9X. Anyways, uh, the final decision is definitely up to you guys to choose and uh, whichever you go with, I'm sure there is something that uh, there's a reason for that. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!